Hi everybody, I'm Chris and this is Chris's Kitchen. Today I was lucky enough to go out to the strawberry farm and get these two beautiful flats of strawberries here. They are just so fresh and delicious and just red right to the core. So pretty. They're so fragrant. And a lot of people, I don't think know this, but strawberries will actually continue to ripen if you leave them out on your counter. So instead of putting them in the fridge, it is actually better to leave them out on the counter. Uh, try to preserve or uh, get to your strawberries right away. So I do plan on processing them today. Uh, we're gonna make some strawberry jam. I'm gonna make a fresh strawberry pie. Oh my gosh, if you've never made that, that is absolutely delicious. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So come along and join me. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting videos a couple times a week on topics like gardening, homesteading, cooking, canning, etc. Strawberries are actually not a berry. What you're eating here is the receptacle. The actual little fruits are the tiny little um, seeds all along the berry. Those, so those are the actual, the actual fruits. First thing you want to do when getting started with your jam is wash and clean the strawberries and then haul them. I haul them directly into my pot after washing and cleaning them. And all you have to do to haul them, uh, instead of chopping them, I find it easier just to pinch off the stem. And then that way you're getting the maximum amount of fruit, you're not wasting anything. And then these of course will go into my compost. For this recipe, you'll need five crushed and hauled cups of strawberries, seven cups of sugar, and a quarter cup of bottled lemon juice. In addition to that, you'll need one packet of pectin. And that's it. Once you get one even layer of hauled strawberries in your pot, you're going to crush them and I use a potato masher. Really simple. If you think seven cups of sugar is a little bit too much, which it is a lot, but I mean it is jam, you can reduce the sugar down, but your jam is not going to set as tight. I've got another layer of berries and I'm going to crush them. I've got the five cups of strawberries mashed and hauled and I'm going to cook it over medium low heat until it cooks up and reduces just a little bit, probably about 20 minutes. And then for this recipe, I'm going to be using the classic pectin, which is a powder and one packet is going to go into here along with a quarter cup of lemon juice. And then once this cooks down a little bit, we're going to add the sugar. My jam's cooked. I'm going to now add the quarter cup lemon juice. Or my strawberries have cooked, I should say. It's not jam yet. And the one packet of pectin. Okay, so I like to just gently sprinkle it in so it doesn't clump. Lemon juice naturally has pectin in it, as all citrus fruit do. In fact, this powdered pectin is usually made from some type of orange. 
And that's why you don't use pectin when making marmalade. So let's give this a stir, let it cook down for a couple minutes, and we'll come back and add our sugar. Time to add our sugar. I got five cups of sugar in here instead of seven. I'm just going to give it a taste before continuing on. I don't want to have my jam be too sweet. These berries were really, really ripe, so we'll see where that takes us. I know that seems like a lot of sugar, but I just tasted the jam and I do find it a little bit tart for my taste. So I'm going to go ahead and add another cup of sugar. So I now have six cups of sugar total in here. We'll taste it again and see if we need that additional cup. Weird fun fact, when strawberries are fermented in stuff like kombucha and ginger beer, if you have the gene for it, it'll actually taste like rubber to you. So, weird, uh, you know. Okay, final taste test. Six cups of sugar is plenty. I even find it a smidge now on the sweet side. But I'm going to leave it at that. It's got a nice, a nice little hint of tartness to it. And I think it'll make a nice jam when it's all said and done. So six cups of sugar is going to do it for us. Uh, we'll hold back on that final cup of sugar. I just think that would be way too much. So this strawberry jam has come up to temp. It's almost to the boil. And with jam, just after you add the sugar, you want to bring it up to the boil and have it on a rolling boil, a hard boil, a boil you cannot stir down for one minute. And that is the key to getting your pectin to gel. So here we go. And this is a boil you cannot stir down. So I'm stirring it, I'm keeping it from boiling over, and I'm keeping it from sticking to the bottom. So you cannot leave this at this point for this one minute. You need to, you need to stir continuously. Some people will skim the foam or add a knob of butter to prevent foaming. I do neither. The foam doesn't bother me and I think adding butter is a little bit gross. I don't know why. I'll save that for my toast. So it's been a minute. I've turned the heat off and I'm going to stir this boil down now. So here it is, I wound up with four pints of beautiful strawberry jam. Even though I held back on one cup, it still worked out to the recipe's directions almost perfectly. I had just a little bit left over and I'm going to eat that over some ice cream here right away. Um, so yeah, there's, there's the jam. And you can see even without, um, I did no skimming of foam and I added no butter or margarine and you can see the foam isn't terrible. There's a little foam on some of these, but like I said, I'm not bothered by that. And I don't think I don't think the extra steps really worth my time, so I don't really do that. So, I will water bath can this and we will put it in the pantry to enjoy over the winter. What a delicious treat. Thanks for joining me. This has been Chris's Kitchen. If you like this video, please like give it a share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out lots of canning, gardening, and uh, lots of fun different videos, so stick around. Thanks.